Hi folks, Matthew here. I want to give you some information for week 7. Thankfully this week is a little bit lighter. It is one discussion and an assignment regarding your instructions for your game. So let's get to it. In the content, you will see down here week 7 instructions and revising. So the chapter from the textbook is uh, chapter 6, I think it is called Instructions. And then the if you don't have the textbook, you can read the online textbook, Sexy Technical Communication, and the section on Instructions. Um, I also have, ooh, that, I think that was my first um, so I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> then you have a video on how to write effective steps. I love Legos, so there you go. Um, oh man, I said it again. And then there's this long document on revising and presenting your writing. So the reason I have this is because you're going to be putting uh, your proposal, your uh, everything together essentially as a game manual. And this will help you kind of work towards that revising. Now, my biggest suggestion for this is to do a pre-read. In other words, to go through here, take a look at, at the headings and the chapter titles and stuff like that, because this is a very long document. Um, and then, and then go from there and write or read in detail what you need for for your revisions, um, if you need that at this point. Next week, you'll be turning in that final uh, game manual, and it'll be helpful to have all that together uh, really well polished. <clears throat> so there are two assignments. There's a discussion board. This week is Pictionary, Reverse Pictionary. So you're going to choose a simple figure, figure or object uh, that can be easily recognized, but also relatively easy to draw. But don't tell us what it is. And don't make it too easy. And choose a list of step-by-step -step instructions. Maybe test them out yourself. Uh, then post them as your initial post. Then choose two people's instructions to follow. Attempt to draw those things. And then share your drawings if you can. If you can share them as, as JPEGs or, or uh, anything else, really, <clears throat> that would be great. If you want to use some drawing tools online, these are, these are some drawing tools that I, I recommend. Web Whiteboard is pretty good. It's, 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 uh, it's easy to share the link. And then give them some feedback on their instructions. So, <clears throat> um, I want to point out that you'll likely want to test out your instructions. See if you can break, quote unquote, your instructions by stretching the meaning of, of whatever it is that you're, that you're doing. So, uh, I don't want to give you more information than that because I really want to see what comes out of this. So then the assignment, the other assignment is that you need to do your turn process procedure. So for this assignment, oh, I keep doing it as a group. Again, if you are doing it as a group, please let me know. Uh, work to compose specific, concrete, and clear step-by-step -step instructions for what happens during each player's turn. Um, <clears throat> This is a larger section of your game manual, which is why it's a, a uh, by yourself, um, or which is why there's not a lot of other other assignments for this module. You can refer to those pages in the textbook, or you can go to the to the sexy technical communication for further guidelines for writing instructions. And there's also a variety of resources specific to game manuals. If you click here. And then there's some actual game manuals for you to take a look at. And this is the layout. Everything about this, there's no sort of template to follow, like as in the, the, the proposal. Rather, 
make it look good, make it professional. And I would say like, like half of it is presentation and the other half is the content there. So once you have that done, turn that in, make sure that you have responded to your folks. And that's the week. I will see you online. Uh, please reach out if you have any questions. I think I did better with my ums this time, but we will have to see. Have a wonderful week, folks.